That's not the purpose of this. It's not my, I'm not the spokesperson of Lagos State. I'm just saying because I'm the consultant in charge, I'm saying authoritatively that from the past, when we collaborated with the local governments and everything to sanitize, to consolidate revenue in that place, by selling the ticket of 800 naira, within the few months that we have started, we have generated about a billion naira into the purpose of Lagos State governments. And that is sanitizing the place also, trying, collecting data from the drivers and everything. It is evolving. Well, the Ashwagi presidency, what do you think Nigeria presidency, I've told you I'm not a politician. But important thing is this, I was in the employment of Lagos State Government. When Ashwagi, proud Ashwagi, uh, and when it came, I knew how much it was generating. I knew when Lagos was doing 400 million. When we moved to 400, 600 million, I knew when um, Governor Marwa, the Milad, came and we engaged in the Day on lab. With drive enforcement and everything, we were able to average 800 million. Ashwagi came and started the reforms, several kind of reforms. Gave the internal revenue service autonomy, made it a profit center for the power to hire and fire. He provocated performance reward system, wherein promotion was not based on the number of years spent on a seat anymore, but depending on your productivity. And then revenue started. He blocked loopholes, automated all the processes of revenue generation, and revenue moved. You see, when you will, how you will know a visionary leader is when you have the thoughts, the sagacity to plant trees under which shade, you know you may not have never sit on top under. There's always a moratorium between the time you start any revenue generating activity and the time it peaks. Ashwagi knew that we may not grow like this, but it laid the foundation for the revenue we are making in Lagos today. Till it left in eight years, I don't think we made more than an average of three billion in all the subsequent ones built on that structure and the, the rest is history. Now, if you are really sincere about the Nigerian whatever, I'm not a politician. I've never carried any uh, party staff. I'm equally any government, any good person, but I'm just after good governance. I look at the, all the data sources in Nigeria today says Nigeria does not have a debt problem. What we have is a revenue problem. Now somebody who has demonstrated capacity, sagacity in the area of revenue. It is only Lagos that has spent 25 percent, less than 25 percent of his life here to meet his needs, overhead and everything, to pay salaries and wages. Not less than 90 percent of whatever. So that's somebody. People say that he's old, is this, is that. You don't go, he's not looking for the uh, job of a sign writer. With wisdom, you will rule the nation. And he's the only person also who has demonstrated the ability to pick plant pegs and put in land roads. And that is why professionals like us should come and identify with this kind of brand initiative to talk to people, to let them really see that the problem we have in Nigeria today, somebody has demonstrated capacity in that area and then we should support him and that is why I'm coming out of my shell to support Ashiwaju not as a politician but as a technocrat. I don't understand the question. I don't understand the question. My advice is and government now is taking its fair share of that revenue pursuant to the social contract theory that every working hazard, every income was be taxed, and now the tax collectors are paying their taxes in not in an unruly way. Thank you. Thank you.